At 40 feet tall and 58 feet around, the Hood Milk Bottle at the Boston Children's Museum is pretty much impossible to miss. Over the past 30 plus years, it has become one of Boston's most iconic landmarks, attracting kids and adults with its retro look and of course, plenty of Hood ice cream. The gigantic jug, it could hold nearly 60,000 gallons of Hood milk, in case you were wondering, has helped HB Hood earn its lofty status as one of New England's most iconic brands. It's an example of Hood's increased exposure in the communities it serves, and that's something the once small 160-year-old dairy company has made a concerted effort to do in recent years. In addition to its continued support of the Children's Museum, Hood has developed community programs and promotions that allow it to interact with its customers on a very personal level. Today, we're gonna highlight some of Hood's marquee community programs. Over the past three years, Hood has developed three new programs, all of which engage and reward customers of all ages. Well, anyway, I just wanted to come talk to you all about the importance of of working hard. We have created the Kid Nation Captives program in 2008. Hood has actually been a presenting sponsor of the Red Sox Kid Nation program since 2004. We really wanted to create a program that gave kids the opportunity to empower themselves and really make a difference in their community. So we decided to elect 12 Kid Nation captains and each of them serves a two-year term. Their main responsibility is to carry out the Kids Helping Kids mission statement and to put together a charity event each year. The first year of the response was amazing. We got more than 700 applications to be Kid Nation captains. And from there, we whittled it down to 25 semifinalists and more than 30,000 people voted on RedSox.com to help choose the final 12 kids. We had captains from across New England and one as far away as California, actually. We just elected 12 new captains a few months ago, and this year we have kids from across New England again, as well as New York and Florida, and we're very excited to get these kids underway. Just like last year, they received a special Kid Nation captain's kit, including a Red Sox jersey with their names on it, and they are in the midst of planning their charity event for this year. In 2008, we actually partnered with Cradles to Crayons, which is a local organization, and they held a warm-up winter clothing drive. So each kid held a clothing drive in their community, and from there, they brought all of their donations to the Cradles to Crayons Giving Factory on one day, and they spent the day volunteering. During the event, uh, Wally the Green Monster and the World Series Trophy were both in attendance, and it was a great day for the kids. This year, we are actually returning to Cradles to Crayons for another clothing drive, and the kids are in the midst of planning it right now, and we're very excited. With more than 300,000 kids across Massachusetts living in poverty, it's a really great event, and we're excited to see what the kids will do this year. We just held our second annual Hood New England Dairy Cook-Off presented by Hood Sour Cream and it was a great success. We had 30 semifinalists going head to head in a live cook-off up in Portland, Maine. It was absolutely some amazing recipes. We had five different categories that people could enter into. There was breakfast, soups and chowders, side dishes and appetizers, lunch and dinner, and dessert, of course and each recipe just had to include one Hood Dairy product. The winner received a $10,000 grand prize. It was a pressure cooker situation, as you can imagine, and we had each semifinalist compete to become the finalist in their particular category. So we had five winners competing live in a head-to-head -head cook off for that grand prize. It was a fantastic event, and really what we enjoy about it is seeing amateur home cooks compete with Hood Dairy products they're great for both home cooks and professional cooks, and so we really enjoy seeing the new and inventive ways that people can use Hood Dairy products. And in recognition of ambitious high school students, there's the Hood Good Sport Program, presented by Hood Milk. Like the Kid Nation's Captain's Contest and the New England Dairy Cook-Off, the Hood Good Sport Scholarship Program is also pretty competitive. We had thousands of students from across New England competing for 18 $5,000 college scholarships, three from each New England state and the 18 winners are now all college freshmen. Each of the seniors was required to have a 3.0 GPA, participated in a varsity sport, volunteered in his or her community, and displayed a high degree of sportsmanship. We were looking for well-rounded student athletes, good sports, if you will. Each student was required to submit an essay, and 15 finalists from each state were determined through online voting. We then interviewed the finalists, and the top three from each state were determined winners for a total of 18 winners. We invited each of the winners to a banquet at Fenway Park and each student received their check and had an opportunity to meet Red Sox slugger Mike Lowell who also gave a great speech on sportsmanship. It was a lot of fun. 
And the entry process for this year's Hood Good Sport Scholarship Program is now open. You can find more details and application process at hood.com. With so many great programs running throughout the year, it's easy to forget that not only is Hood a fixture in the community, but it's also a fixture in the kitchen. After all, it's things like milk and ice cream that help put Hood on the map to begin with. We're heading to the grocery store to get a closer look at one of Hood's most popular products this time of year, eggnog. Hood started as a milk company over 150 years ago, but today it is much more than that. They make ice cream, sour cream, cottage cheese, and of course, at this time of year, they make eggnog. And as any fan of eggnog knows, November in New England marks the beginning of Hood eggnog season. And Sarah Barrow is joining us to tell us a little bit more about what makes Hood eggnog so special. Sarah, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. So tell us, what is the secret? If I told you the secret, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. But what I can tell you is Hood eggnog is made from a proprietary blend of extra creamy milk, sugared egg yolks, and a delicious blend of spices and seasonings. Okay, that sounds a little bit mysterious, but <laughs> tell us about uh, the flavors that you have to offer. Sure, well nationwide we have five flavors. We have pumpkin, cinnamon, sugar cookie, gingerbread, and golden eggnog. And here in New England, we also have two additional flavors. We have a vanilla eggnog and a light eggnog. But none of these are actually available year-round, is that correct? That's correct. It's a very limited season for eggnog. They will be on shelves in usually late October, and by the middle of January, they are gone. So you have to pick them up when you have the chance. All right, so let's do some sampling. Absolutely. Okay, so what's the first one up? Would you like to start with the pumpkin? Sure. So tell me a little bit about this, because this has real pumpkin puree. It is does. So the pumpkin eggnog is made with pumpkin puree and a delicious blend of pumpkin pie spices. Mm, it smells like pumpkin pie and it tastes it like does. pumpkin pie. It does. It really tastes like Thanksgiving in a glass. It does. Yes. That's a good way to describe it. That's great. <laughs> and so what's next? We have cinnamon too? We also have a cinnamon and that is your next one there. So that is also made with real cinnamon mm -hmm. and it has a really smell great it. festive holiday taste to it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that has a great holiday mm -hmm. taste. Very strong cinnamon, delicious. And then sugar cookie. This is one of sugar my favorites. Sugar cookie is very popular with the kids. It really tastes like a fresh out of the oven sugar cookie. And did this start off as a vanilla? Is that with? Is that you know, right? This actually originally the flavor was developed for a hood sugar cookie ice cream. Oh. So it has excellent flavor. Ice cream in a glass, right and there. Gingerbread. This says holidays too. It does. Again. Fresh uh, ginger and molasses is in there. Really tastes like a fresh out of the oven gingerbread cookie. It does. It smells like a gingerbread man mm -hmm. or woman. It's delicious. And then there's also golden eggnog, and this has rum flavoring. Yes, golden is our traditional eggnog. It has been made in New England for more than 50 years, and that has uh, rum and nutmeg flavoring to it. So remind me again, when will these be off the shelves and you can't get them anymore? I would say by the middle of January, they are gone. So make sure you stock up when you can. We have people tell us that they stock up as much as possible and actually freeze them for a couple of months. And that's actually probably a good season. idea. Exactly. Well, Sarah, thank you so much. And um, thank you to Elizabeth as well for both of you for giving us so much great information about all of the programs that Hood has running throughout the year in New England. From the Good Sports Scholarship Program to Kid Nation to the New England Dairy Cook-Off, Hood is indeed more than just a local milk company.